Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today on today's broadcast. It is Thursday, April 13th, 2023. Jesus Christ is alive, isn't he? And he is the Lord of all. And can you just picture the mainstream news outlets, CBS, ABC, Fox News, all of them proclaiming that with sincerity at the beginning or the end of their broadcast or intertwining Jesus Christ in his kingdom into the news stories? I'm, well, they're probably not going to do that because they are controlled. But I want to tell you today that Jesus is the good news, his kingdom and his offer for salvation for all who believe and walk with him. So friends, let's take a look at some of the headlines today. And in this first story, quite blasphemous to the creator, it is a national first. The FDA, the Food and Drug Administration here in the USA has given the company Intelia Therapeutics the go-ahead to begin testing a drug that uses CRISPR gene editing technology in vitro. Now, in biology, in vivo means within an organism rather than in something like a Petri dish. And Intellia's offering is the first time ever that the FDA has approved such testing. So this is newsworthy. Now, their drug would prevent swelling attacks in people with a genetic condition called hereditary angioedema. Now, typically, treatments and drugs that utilize CRISPR technology take place outside the body. Cells or tissues are removed and altered ex vivo before being reintroduced inside the patient. But in the case of Intellia's drug, the edited media, uh, it finds its own way to the liver rather than being injected there. So the advantages are the advantages are huge if such a drug could be proven to work well. What are those advantages? Well, a lack of hospital and laboratory procedures. It would save a patient thousands of dollars and then potentially open up the class of drugs to the lower and middle class people or to those who are underinsured. So they say that this is an important milestone for Intellia as it is the first ever investigational new drug application cleared by the FDA for in vivo gene editing. Well, of course, Intellia's stock, it rose following the announcement. And the same company plans to file papers for another such drug later this year, which they say will help tamp down on an abnormal protein that builds up in the heart. Now, there are other Western countries. They have already approved several and even many in vivo CRISPR treatments for testing. Some of these nations are New Zealand, the Netherlands, Sweden, the UK, and France. And I don't believe the Lord is happy with this uh, new story at all. Well, when God made mankind, he said everything was good, meaning everything was genetically perfect from a holy God. But through sin and rebellion and sickness, uh, death, disease is something that all of humanity has been running from. And the answer is not in science. That's not where people are going to find their answer. The answer is in Jesus Christ. And he's the one he's going to be dealing with these fallen scientists who are promulgating more and more disrespect towards their creator. Now, to promulgate, it means to make an idea widely known. And that is exactly what the New World Science Order is up to. They are trying to upgrade the genetic codes that are within God's very perfect creation. Not necessary. It's a mockery. Now, they have been manipulating DNA since they got here. And, and one day there will be no more DNA or RNA manipulation. And these creatures will no longer be around. Bye-bye, demonic science scientist in your white lab jackets. Praise the Lord. I bet you guys are like me. You're looking forward to this day. 
they they have plans for designer babies, designer beauty queens, designer beauty kings and athletes and you name it. Anything and everything is coming. Designer dogs. And just like those heinous robots that they are promulgating to make life easier and Ultimately, these robots are going to be giving their demonic spirits a free ride. You've heard of lots of their rock and roll songs here in the USA over the decades. They are on the highway to hell. Well, okay, oh, I really want to cover this next story because the implications of what uh, Catabella Roberts, she's the author of this story, she wrote this. It's very concerning. Uh, the article is entitled, Joe Rogan Issues a Warning After AI-Generated Version of His Podcast Surfaces. And it's been all over the internet. First of all, let me tell you who Joe Rogan is in case you've been living under a rock. Now, I don't follow him, but he has been the number one podcaster in the world for the past few years. So that's not an easy endeavor. And his resume of industry work, it's pretty big. And even the fact that he hosted the Fear Factor for six years in a row back in, I think it was like 2001 to 2006, I believe. And he has warned of the growing threats posed by AI after a version of his podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, was created completely through the use of AI technology. And that sparked a lot of concern among his listeners. So let me give you the details of this. The fake video is entitled Joe Rogan AI Experience, episode number 001. And it features guest Sam Altman. He's very famous. He is the CEO of OpenAI. And that he's the creator of the AI system, Chat GPT. Now, on this video that was circulating, there was a disclaimer on it, and it noted that the contents were fictional. It did not reflect the thoughts of Rogan or Altman, and it added that the use of AI technology to generate the video was solely intended to show the capabilities of language models and should not be mistaken as a real conversation between these two men. This is unbelievable. So friends, can you see where this whole thing is going now? I mean, it's almost like what we've been seeing on the mainstream news already today. You cannot tell what is truth or not. And actors, they're reading teleprompters, uh, newscasters reading teleprompters to propel a narrative that is scripted by a small group of people and scientists the richest of the rich. And AI has been writing the news for quite a, a long time now. You can look that up, do your own research. AI has been writing the news for, for several years. I think it might actually have been for a decade now. And they will use every AI angle possible to come against the children of God. So those are just some things to consider today, folks. You know, we also have Xi Jinping. He's now the peace broker of the planet. And isn't it interesting that nations who are supposed to be arch rivals forever, all of a sudden they're shaking hands and having tea. And uh, they're formulating a way to have a one world governance. And then we also have simultaneously slow disclosure of extraterrestrials. That's happening by many nations. And recall that the Pope said that if aliens came, that he would baptize them. Maybe he's saying they're candidates for salvation. Well, let me ask you this question today. If one day is like a thousand years to the Lord, and a thousand years is like one day to the Lord, what time of time measurement do you think these fallen scientists are using? Probably the same one or one that's pretty similar because they are spiritual entities. They have had a long time to write out their game plan, uh, to bring it to execution, and to include the destruction of God's children and usher in the Antichrist kingdom. And part of their plan is so sophisticated, and yet when God reveals it to his servants, it really angers these spirits, these demons. They hate it, and they don't mind a bit, a little bit of exposure, because 
they also expose parts of their plans. I think it's part of the of the rules that they have with the creator. But when we reveal what Jesus is showing us, it really gets their heart rates up. I mean, they love confusion. They love darkness. They write it into their scripts. But when the children of God are exposing it, they really are angered. So friends, I want to say they really love to pit people against each other. It's one of their main tactics. Don't take the bait. Walk in the spirit and ask Jesus to show you the way. This morning, as I was in prayer, the Lord told me, I want you to be sure that you are always offering hope to people who are coming to this news channel. Yes, friends, the world is imploding and it is because of sin and rebellion, but there is always hope in Jesus Christ, our Lord. And we need the clarity of his words at this hour. We need to know how to navigate through these uh, torrential rains, these weather patterns, how to navigate through the increasing demonic oppression, through this financial collapse, and through the barrage of lies coming from mass media. Just remember that what Jesus said, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And because with all of the manipulation of the media and the false pretense that is arising on the earth, these false narratives, we need one main truth. And that is the man, Jesus Christ. And I also believe that that is why Jesus, he pours out his spirit on all flesh. And, and there's so many dreams and visions and prophesying going on. Because Jesus is shouting from Mount Zion, attention, earth, I am the only one that you can trust now. The rest is a charade. They are actors. They are Pharisees. They are hypocrites. There is only hope in me, Jesus. And friends, I also want to say they are eventually going to come for our Bibles. And the Lord has been showing me this for years and uh, if I could recommend one passage for you to commit to memory and to really write it firmly on your heart because of all the confusion that's going on out there, it would be John chapter 14. Uh, John chapter 14 verses 1 through 6. And these fallen angels, they want you to think that they are your creators and, and that eternal life comes through them. That is a bold-faced lie. So when these demonic spirits come and present their, their lies to you, you can resolutely speak back to them or anyone. John chapter 14, with a confident smile, with the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said these words, let not your heart be troubled. Friends, don't be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. And if it weren't so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and pre prepare, that's a tongue twister, a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am there, you may also be. There's the hope in the Lord. And where I go, you know, and the way you also know. And Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going and how we can know the way. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So friends, there's going to be a lot of people there like Thomas around us and saying, I don't know the way to eternal life. I don't know the way to heaven the way to God, and we want to make sure we have the answers. I really want to impress upon you to commit this passage to memory. See, no one comes to the Father except through Jesus Christ. So we really do need to believe in Jesus to be saved, believe in what he has done for us at Calvary. And that word believe, it really means it's a personal relational trust. It's a sincere relationship. So friends, let us all prepare for the coming of the Lord and let us have hope in him. Uh, the Antichrist wants us to have hope in him. And there's a lot of art memorabilia out there with uh, his picture and the word hope. 
Let's focus our eyes on Jesus Christ. Let's focus on the cross and not in this delusional science that will get you nowhere. Jesus said that he is the only way. Amen. All right, friends, I'll talk to you again real soon. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.